Nine families who were squatting along the Sea Defence Reserve at Annandale East Coast Demerara received the keys to their new homes, marking a significant step towards better living conditions. On Monday, Minister of Housing and Water, Colin Crowell, handed over the keys to the low-income two-bedroom homes that were built at Annandale New Scheme. Obviously, if you compare here to where the environment where they were in, you you know you realize that this is an upliftment and this brings a betterment for them and their family. After taking up occupancy, the residents will begin to repay the loan at $25,000 per month over a 25-year period. So the houses that you have behind me, those are constructed to $5 million and they have all pre-qualified with the bank, New Building Society, so they will start paying uh, immediately upon um, occupancy. Nine of the ten, however, have gone through. There's, there's one um, individual because uh, of her age and so she's putting the necessary mechanism in place. The residents are all overjoyed to have safe, decent and affordable homes. I feel real good. I feel real good because since 2007 I put in for a land and I never get through. And I live all over the place. I live to the squatting area, to my mother's house, to my sister's house. And I'm very happy that I get my house lot. A land and a house today. It can be better because what part I used to live, when the rain fall, you get flood and we need to get water and light. Yeah, we try to buy a solar, but the solar will buy time for you know, they still can help the family. Because we get computer, we get things for charge. I mean, you know, we ain't gonna ask. Yeah, so, at least I still appreciate what the government do for me. This initiative was sparked by a visit in the community by President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali in September 2022. At that time, 15 families were informed of government's plans to relocate them to a safer and more wholesome community. Ten of the families accepted the government's offer to construct homes for them, while the remaining five opted for lands. Overall, this initiative marks a significant step forward in improving the living conditions of these families and serves as a testament to government's commitment to addressing the issue of squatting countrywide.